Hello writers, if you are tired of the endless hustle of freelance writing and you are constantly looking for your next gig, what if I tell you that you could create a steady stream of income even when you're not actively writing? The secret weapon is digital products. Hi everyone and welcome back to Read and Write with Natasha. I'm an author, a writer, and a podcaster, and writing pays my bills. So today I'm sharing with you my strategies for creating and selling digital products that will transform your freelance writing income. All right, first let's define what digital products are. So digital products are assets or pieces of media that can be sold and distributed online without the need to replenish inventory. They're created once and then can be sold repeatedly, making them a fantastic source of passive income for writers. Examples include uh, eBooks, online courses, templates, and membership sites. So why should you as a writer create digital products? All right, here are a few uh, compelling reasons. One, passive income. So imagine earning money while you sleep. So once your product is created, it can generate income with minimal ongoing effort. Two, scalability you can reach a global audience of writers and enthusiasts without geographical limitation. Three, low overhead, no printing costs, inventory management, or shipping fee. All right, you might ask, how do I get started? Don't worry, I've got you covered. As a freelance writer, you already have a treasure trove of skills and knowledge that can be turned into valuable digital products. Here are some ideas. One, ebooks and guides. Share your expertise on writing craft or freelancing strategies. Uh, for example, I created an ebook on creating a winning pitch and I'm now selling it on a platform called Gumroad. Two, online courses. Uh, teach others how to improve their writing, pitch to clients, or build a freelance business. Uh, I'm currently selling a self-led course on making income from uh, ghostwriting on a platform called Kajabi. You can also use marketplaces like Udemy and Skillshare and, and others. All right, three is you can create templates and worksheets. For example, you can develop time-saving resources like blog post outlines, uh, social media calendars, or a character development uh, worksheet. You can also create swipe files, uh, so you can create examples of successful pitches, query letters, or email templates to help other writers learn and improve. And uh, you can also create membership sites that offer exclusive content, community forums, or coaching to a dedicated group of writers. All right, so creating your digital product involves uh, a few key steps. One is the idea generation and validation. So make sure to brainstorm your ideas and research the market and ensure there's, there's a demand for your product. You can do that by vetting your uh, online audience, maybe through a poll on LinkedIn. Two, uh, content creation. After you validate the idea, you can develop high quality, valuable content that solves a problem or fulfills a need. And then design and format, uh, make it visually appealing and easy to use. Canva is a great tool for this, even if you're not a designer. Uh, platform selection, uh, you can choose the right platform to sell your products, such as Amazon for eBooks, Gumroad for templates and swipe files, or maybe uh, Teachable, th uh, 
Big Fig Kajabi for Courses. And once your product is ready, it's time to market it. And here are some strategies that I personally use uh, to market my digital products. Email marketing, build an email list and send regular updates. Uh, social media, of course, uh, promote your product on social media platforms, uh, either through organic or even paid uh, ads, uh, collaborations, partner with influencers and other writers, and SEO, don't forget about that, optimize your product page for search engine. So let's talk a bit about pricing and launching your product. Uh, Pre-launch, uh, you can build anticipation with teasers and sneak peeks. The launch day, you can host a launch event or webinar and you can use multiple channels to announce your launch. And then post-launch, you can collect feedback and testimonials, uh, continuously promote and update your product. And as for pricing, it really depends I would say a digital course can go between maybe uh, $100 to $300. So what are you waiting for if you're a freelance writer? Get started now. Uh, thank you for watching. And please, uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out my other videos for more tips and advice. And see you next time.